welcome back students so in the previous video we have seen what is the difference between enantiomers and diastereomers before that i have taught you the concept of optical isomerism where i have shown you elements of symmetry then i have shown you what are uh, plane of symmetry in that elements of symmetry i have taught you the concept of plane of symmetry center of symmetry alternate axis of symmetry also now, so today we will be learning about inversion retention and racemization now, so what is inversion retention and racemization first of all <clears throat> whenever i have to speak about racemization first let us write the definition right so racemization or racemic mixture right racemic mixture so racemic mixture is basically it is means it's it's an equimolar mixture 50 by 50 1 is to 1 ratio of enantiomers right let us say what is and equimolar mixture of two enantiomers equimolar mixture of two enantiomers how much equimolar mix means 50 by 50 mean that is one is to one and those two uh, enantiomers which forms i said equimolar mixture of two enantiomers 50 by 50 that is both d form and L form that is dextro and levo where they rotate the plane polarized right towards right as well as they rotate to right. so the mixture of these what will happen which results in zero rotation when they mix up zero rotation because of this this racemic mixture hence the racemic mixture is because it has got cancelled isn't it so the racemic mixture is optically inactive optically inactive let us take an example right so i'll be taking uh, in now uh, racemic mixture we have understood now we'll take an example of yeah, like inversion <coughs> example of retention which is an ncrt example so it's easy for you to understand right suppose if i have i'm i've picked up this example from your halo alkenes halo adenes a chapter only done if i have a molecule like this x and it has three substituents one c to h5 h this we have studied in your uh, sn1 sn2 sn1 mechanism and sn2 mechanism the concept is given there right suppose this particular molecule there are two one two three done if the same uh, molecule uh, listen if it has or if she if it shows if the configuration of this molecule is written like this let us name this as a the configuration of this molecule after rotation suppose if i just write the rotation y c to h5 h c h3 now what are you finding here x or y this is b the mixture of a and b together right now let's see this is a molecule if the molecule this on after the reaction on rotation suppose if the configuration of this molecule is retained it is like this here x is here c2h5 is here h is here ch3 is here if the configuration is retained right then it's called retention suppose in this case see here the configuration is inverted then this is called inversion the combination of these two is called racemic mixture right right let's see suppose i said for a particular molecule if only a is obtained right what do we call we call it as retention the molecule if only b is obtained then we call inversion of configuration suppose if i get 50 to 50 mixture of both then i call it as racemization so what do we say racemization this is zero optical active means optically inactive it is because they get cancelled right so this is your 
inversion retention and resumization the students i have taken this example as i said i have taken it from your ncert only fine <coughs> important thing resumization uh, um, when i take let me add two more things it is the reverse of resolution means it is a conversion of plus or minus isomer into racemic mixture how do we represent we represent it by plus minus like this right so thank you for watching students i'll come back and meet you with the next type of configuration that is a relative configuration that is dln nomenclature rs nomenclature with certain examples thank you for watching